hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a paint with me video today i'll be using watercolor paint to paint some daisies i'll be using these paintings in my march bullet journal setup firstly i'm sketching out the daisies and i'm going to be using something called masking fluid to cover the daisies if you've never used masking fluid it's basically a liquid that you put over an area that you don't want painted once it's dry it's kind of a rubbery texture that you can paint over and then pull off afterwards when the paint is dry here I'm using my paintbrush <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear that in the background, that is my lovely, cute little blind kitten that is trying to find where I'm coming from. So she might be a little noisy in the background. I hope it doesn't bother too much, but I can't really help it. Anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, once it's dry, it's kind of a rubbery texture. And you can paint over it and pull it off afterwards when your paint's fully dry. Here I'm using my paintbrush to paint what will essentially be the background, making short strokes with my brush, switching between a lighter and a darker shade of green. Now that the paint has <laughs> now that the paint has dried, I'm going in again and using a darker shade of green and then creating some more prominent grass blades. Now I'm letting everything dry and I mean fully dry. A great way to test if your painting is actually dry is to use the back of your hand. If you touch the back of your hand against the painting and it's still cool to the touch, then your painting is not yet dry enough. Once it's completely dry, you can remove the masking fluid. I'm not going to lie, it is also quite satisfying to pull off this masking fluid. I don't know if anyone else is weird like me. I'm sure there's people out there, you might not want to admit it. But you know when it's summertime and you've spent some time in the sun? Maybe you've spent a little bit too much time in the sun and you start peeling. I don't know, some people find it gross, some people find it really satisfying. Let me know if you like picking dead skin, I guess. Okay, so now that the masking fluid is off, I'm using this very fine brush. This is actually a nail art brush that I found and I could never find a fine enough brush. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, perfect. I'm using this brush to add yellow to the center of the flower, as well as add some orange on top of that and let it kind of bleed together. Also using yellow to slightly color the other white petals. If you look at any picture or photograph of a white flower, it's never fully white. There's always shading in the flowers, so adding more colors to your white flower creates a more realistic look to the flower. Once the painting is fully dry, I'm going in with white gouache paint. I'm using gouache paint because it's a very similar consistency to watercolor paint, but it is also a lot more opaque. And there's my first set of daisies. Moving on to the next painting, I have this little postcard of this girl watering daisies and I want, I want this as a smaller picture but I also want a bit of a different color scheme so I decided to repaint it. It's not my artwork, honestly I have no idea who did this, who, who made this but in any case let's see if I can create something similar. Firstly, I'm starting with a yellow wash 
sometimes it creates a bit of depth in your painting if you don't start with a solid white background. Of course you might have noticed that I've gone for a classic spring flower theme for March. I'll be using all of these paintings in my March setup. I don't have a color printer so I can't scan them and then print them out. So instead I'll be cutting out these paintings and gluing them into my bullet journal. For the new color scheme I wanted her dress to be a dark green instead of yellow and because I want it to be darker and a little bit more moody I'm doing quite a few layers of paint on her dress. Using a Sakura Micron pen, I'm lining the picture to make all the finer details and then using gouache paint for the daisies. Finally moving on to the last set of daisies where all of the flowers are just slightly different positions, some are alone, others are two together and some have flower buds in between. For these daisies I'm basically following the exact same process as the first set but with these I'll also be lining them with a Sakura fine liner. If you're still here, please leave a flower in the comments down below. And also, I will be making all of these paintings into a sticker sheet that is available on my Kofi shop. It'll be free for the month of March. After that, it'll still be available for a small amount. I hope that you enjoyed this paint with me video. Like I said, I'll be using these in my March setup. So if you'd like to see how I end up using these in my March setup in 2024, please go check out the next video on my playlist. I hope you have a very crafty day and thanks for watching. See you next time.